so first question is uh, this uh, first box uh, that is credit purchase 6 lakh 20 thousand purchase return 20 thousand opening credit as 1 lakh and closing credit as 1 lakh 40 thousand opening bills payable 25 thousand and closing bills payable 35 thousand So here it has given to calculate trade payables turnover ratio and uh, average payment period. Okay. So in this question, we are going to calculate the we have a uh, data turnover ratio like that uh, we have a uh, trade payables turnover ratio and uh, we have uh, average collection period uh, formula is there and we have uh, average payment period too so this uh, trade payables turnover ratio it uh, indicates the speed with which the amount is being paid to the trade payables the re, if the ratio is higher then it is better so because uh, if the ratios are higher so in this way the company is giving the money immediately or else earlier okay So, shall we start the session or we'll wait for one thirty seconds or one minute to join the others also. So yes, write down the question and the meanwhile I will write down the formula, trade payable turnover ratio, Ratio is equals to net credit purchase divided by average credit plus plus average BP means uh, average bills payable So yes, here and uh, average payment period is equals to, so average payment period is uh, that is 365 days divided by 
trade payables turnover ratio. Okay, so yes, calculate it. I've given you the formula. So order uh, net credit purchase. Why I have solved this kind of question because in uh, one of the examination, they have asked about the average payment period. Okay, so that's why I'm solving this. That is net credit purchases are so credit purchase during the year is six lakhs twenty thousand. Okay, and then uh, we have purchase returns also. So we'll deduct this amount. Uh, minus 20,000. Okay, how much we'll get here? Six lakh rupees, okay. So average creditors, how to calculate this? Answer is 20, that's wrong. Average creditors and the bills payable. Both will take it as a comma. So how much is that? The opening creditors, one lakh. Plus closing creditors. Again, the bill payables we have twenty five thousand plus thirty five thousand divided by two. So, how much we will get here? Seventy-five thousand. We are getting the average. Is that correct or wrong? So once again, I will check it out. Opening rate as one lakh plus. Uh, one lakh forty thousand plus twenty five thousand yeah four times is the trade payable turnover ratio that's true plus thirty five thousand so is equals to So we are getting one lakh fifty thousand as the average amount. Okay. Okay. Now we'll put the formula here. So how much we are getting? So six uh, six lakhs divided by one lakh fifty thousand, we'll get four times. Okay. Fifteen four is sixty. We'll get here four times. And. Uh,
then we have to calculate the average payment period so 365 divided by 4 so how much you are getting Three sixty-five divided by four, ninety-one point two five, or else you round up, uh, round up to ninety-two. Okay, so ninety-two days. And similarly, you just calculate for the second one. Revenue from operation is. 3 crore 60 lakhs then creditors is 12 lakhs bills receivables 8 lakhs bills payable 60,000 purchases 1 crore 50 lakhs and then we have uh, debtors for 40 lakhs then uh, trade receivable we have to calculate the trade receivable turnover ratio average correction period average payment period trade payable turnover ratio so trade receivables is nothing but uh, uh, debtors, okay, uh, debtors turnover ratio. So I'll write down the formula for uh, trade receivable turnover ratio. That is is equals to this credit revenue from operations divided by debtors plus bills receivable okay yes now we'll calculate what is the credit revenue from uh, operations that is nothing but revenue from operation so we have 3 crore 60 lakhs and uh, debtors and bills receivable how much we have one is 40 lakhs and uh, bills receivables is 8 lakhs so total comes to how much 48 lakhs So yes, so how much the answer 360, 3, uh, 3 crore 60 lakhs, yes 7.5 times, divided by 48 lakhs, yes, 7.5 times. Now you just calculate the average uh, collection period. So that formula is average collection period is 365 days divided by trade receivables turnover ratio. So how much we are getting here? The answer 48.66 is 48.66 or else you round up as a 49.
if you round up here so how much you will get the 49 okay so similarly you calculate the trade uh, payable turnover ratio because uh, previous problem i have solved this kind of problem trade payable turnover ratio so how much will be the answer credit purchase divided by credit as plus bills payable so credit purchase is nothing but purchase here 150 lakhs so i will not going to write the formula I'll just calculate here 1 crore 50 lakhs divided by Kratos plus bills payable. So Kratos is 12 lakhs. Yes, 11.90 times. Plus bills payable. Eleven point nine zero, and then average payment period. So that is how much three sixty five divided by eleven point nine zero. We'll get as thirty point six six. We'll round up here thirty one times. So sorry, this is 31 days.